times. You got to laugh once in a while, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you get too serious. You got to laugh. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to get serious and heavy. Uh, laughing, that's, a, that's an art. So uh, where were we? Um, oh, death. It's a lie. It's an absolute lie. And I, 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 I'm going to ask you to feel into going beyond death. You are not going to die. You're going to transition sooner or later because you get tired of all this. You are, I tell you what, you're already tired. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> now, really, if you were just so you know dumb, stupid, happy with you know being a human and your body and you know your relatives and everything, <laughs> you wouldn't be sitting here. But you know there's more, so that's why you're here. But let's take a moment right now, and we're going to be doing this. I'll do, we'll do it every shout, okay? Until I really feel. We've gone beyond death. Uh, no music on this one. Just let's stop for a moment. Let's do a silent mirab. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, you should go to the toilet if you have to. <laughs> or now can you do that with your mouth, as oh, you would say? Oh, that's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, we can laugh at death, right? We're sitting here about to go beyond death. We can spit on death. It, it, it is a lie. And, and I, I'm not just saying that philosophically or spiritually. It is factually a lie. And once we go beyond death, and that worry about death, that wondering about death, wondering what happens when you die, and once we go beyond that, you can live again. I asked about the tombstones. What would you put on? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. So let's 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 die right now. <laughs> let's let's go beyond it. Let, let's take a good deep breath. This be a, silent. Rob means there's no music, but I talk. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we do that all the time. Says Crash or somebody. Uh, no, yeah, Ben. Uh, okay, let's take a good deep breath. And I'll pontificate a little bit. You've lived with the illusion of death for as long as you can remember, to the point where you actually believe it, believed it, as does do humans. It, it's a reality, I guess. It's a reality, but not the reality. It's it's a way of living, I guess. But you're not going to die. You are not going to die. You're going to exist. You're going to, at some point, when you get tired of the physical condition and the, and the intellectual uh, condition, say, uh, let's transition. Let's like suck all that up, bring it up into our beingness. Let's pack that bag and bring it all up into self. You're, you're actually there, – there's still the there, – you have the illusion of death. Well, it's when your spirit leaves your body and you leave your body behind. No. No. We're going to bring the body with, the, the essence, the energetic elements of the body and the mind and everything else, but it's going to be brought into the mothership, into you. There is no death. You're not. I, I proclaim on this day that you're not going to die. That human identity isn't going to be buried underground or burned in hot fires. I'm not not hell. I'm talking to cremation. Some of you right away. Oh, I'm going to hell. No, not cremation. Uh, so, in order to be the transhumans on Earth, the embodied masters, we walk beyond death itself. So much darkness, so much fear, so much uh, rhetoric and dogma and everything else about death, and it's simply not true. Not even the human dies. You know that human? Not, not even the human dies to become the um, high consciousness, spirit, whatever. No. Even the human of you lives on. It, all the 
energetic essence of what you experienced in the physical being is brought up into the mothership. It's, it's absorbed. It comes to you. And even the essence of your body, but a body now that doesn't age and doesn't go into pain or anything else, it's all brought up uh, in the transition. But even long before that transition, there's the transition right now, the transition that's taking place out of by ancestral body, out of mass consciousness mind. But as long as the, the human still fears death and wonders about death and has death as a uh, basically a goal, death is a goal, uh, but one that you're trying to avoid, then it throws everything out of skew. So let's just step beyond death. The whole illusion. It's written all over a holy book. You die, you die, you die. No, actually you don't. Let's write that new holy book <coughs> that says, I am that I am. I exist. There's a transition. There are many transitions of the Self, but death is no longer in my consciousness. Let's take a good deep breath in this transhuman series. It's going to be a challenge in some ways. Your mind will come back to death and the thoughts of it. Uh, but I'm going to ask you to stop trying uh, to avoid death and stop trying to think about it and just understand you are not going to die. I, I want you to feel that in, in these coming weeks. Imagine that for a moment. And I'm not talking about being immortal like the other transhumanists where you're using robot parts and everything else to uh, perpetuate uh, a singular life. I'm talking about there is no death. It's a transition. Transitions you're used to. You are masters of transitions. You go through them all the time. And really feel into that. That <laughs> I mean, it's almost funny. There is no death. You, Master, are not going to die. What, what a relief! What a change of consciousness after all of this time of <coughs> well, in a way, you were kind of like them, the other transhumanists. You were kind of seeking immortality. In a way, you were seeking basically to have all the knowledge and all the wisdom, in a way, you were seeking to be superhuman, in a way, uh, a singular in a way, but we go beyond all that now. We put a big plus sign in right in the center of the circle of the I Am. That's one of the things that the five who I talked about earlier who have allowed their realization, they realized, I'm, I'm not going to die. I'm not ever going to worry about it again. I'm not going to die. I'm going to transition, evolve. I'm going to transcend in so many ways, but death, no. I'll be bringing this up. We'll just do a short little beyond death thing uh, at, at the next couple of shouts anyway. There is no death. And once we can release that, oh, we are so free. Can you Im just imagine for a moment, uh, not intellectually, but really, really saying, oh, that's right, I'm not going to die. What a relief that is. Let's take a good deep breath. And speaking of some transitions, and now with a little music, oh, other way, now with a little music. Yeah, let's just throw a little light on their faces, make them wake up, and then we'll go right back into the real mural that I wanted to do today. Okay, let's take a good deep breath. And what a day! What a day! I'm, I'm, in a way, like a very, very proud friend, not father, but friend. Uh, very proud to see. 
what you've created here on earth. It's, it's, it's a small space in a small town on a small planet, but, but yet it's so symbolic. What a statement that the masters are here. You got it cemented in the wall. Not just a printed sign. I mean, you've, you went so far as to have it cast in bronze, and cast in metal, and put into a wall. The masters are here. Embodied, real. Now, if you take a good deep breath and relax, and you know how it is when, when I think some of you call it a road trip, when you get in your car, ah, such a great feeling sometimes. You get in your car and you're out on the open road, away from the city, out in the countryside, no other traffic, and Put some music on the radio. Oh, Radio Calder is telling me that's really very old fashioned. You put some music on whatever device it is that you have. It's a radio. It's radio to me. Always be a radio. <laughs> you're listening to some music. I don't care how you're getting it. Let's just say you're humming to yourself. <laughs> Calder quarrels about the funniest things, and it's like the point is you're relaxed. And you're having fun, damn it. <laughs> and it's the wide open road, and it's a sunny day, and nobody else is there telling you that you're driving poorly, or you're just relaxed. And oh my God, what a journey it's been. And you're not on a journey. That's the funny thing. You're just out for a drive. There's no more journey. No more real destination. You're just out for a drive. And you know, you have that device and Caldra, do not correct me. You have this device in your car and it's called a rear view mirror. It's so that you can be driving, going forward or whatever, and you can look back to see what's behind. And today, it's your life that's behind you. Yeah, you're, you're continuing to expand, to you're continuing your experiences, but your old life is in the rearview mirror. Take a look at it in this mirab. Life in the rearview mirror. I, I like that analogy because, you see, you're not turning around and looking. Uh, you're not like looking back at the burning city. Uh, you're simply looking in the rear view. Kind of, it's a reflection. It's a perspective. Not really even literal. What a life you've had. What a life you've had looking in the rear view mirror. A life filled with such aspirations and desires, unlike uh, that of which most people don't have. Uh, not, it wasn't even a life of aspiring for money or prominence or anything. A life that you dedicated to yourself, to that, to that circle with a dot in the middle. What challenges, what tremendous challenges that you had in that life. It might have been with family or it might have been with career or your health, but if you look in that rear view mirror for a moment, you'll see the challenges were really with yourself. They showed up oftentimes with family members or health, wealth, but the challenges were really your satisfaction, your acceptance with yourself, your life in the rearview mirror. 
trying hard, raising kids, uh, trying to pay the bills. When you look in the rearview mirror, your life, trying to be spiritual. That was a, that was a transition in your life. This beautiful, passionate desire for answers, finally. You look in the rearview mirror, and that was your life, and that's behind you now. There are such tender moments in that life, in the rearview mirror. If you if you take a good look, you'll just look at all the energy that was put into that life. I would say at least five times more energy than a typical person puts into their life. I'm not just talking about going to work, but I'm just talking about your energy dynamic in life. So much energy into it. That life is kind of like a work of art in a way. I know it wasn't easy. You know it wasn't easy. But now it's in the rearview mirror. Take a good deep breath. It's in the rearview mirror. That means that it's just a reflection. What's behind you? So many dead ends back there, so many dead end roads. He tried different things and didn't quite work out. That's okay. So many bumps in the road. I think the worst parts were when you were back there, when you were just lost. And just like you're broke down, lost. That's terrible sometimes not having that sense of direction. And what do you do? Where do you go? And you, you don't even know, and you're just lost. You're a stranger in a strange world, a world that's really not yours, and you knew it, but how the hell do you get out of it? That's lost. You look in that rearview mirror, such a such a singular life. Linear. On that path, on that roadway of trying so hard. Working for the answers and that's in the past now. That's that's in the rear view mirror. That's all behind you now. This thing called death, that, that dark object in the rearview mirror back in your old life, the, the worry about death. Damn it, that was a bad joke. I mean, it just was a bad joke. It was such a lie, death. You transition, indeed, indeed, indeed. You wouldn't want to stay in one state of being forever. You wouldn't want to just be in this physical body. I, I guess when one believes that there's nothing more, that this is reality, when they believe that this is reality, I guess then they would try to be in it forever. But when you know there's so much more, when you know there are many realities there, and this reality is uh, its own illusion, uh, I guess then you'd want to stay in the immortal human state, but there is so much more. Death, what a, what a, what a lie. 
uh, death to me, to Adamus. It's the lie of the ignorant. It's all it is. It's ignorance. I'd use a bad word right now, but I don't think that's appropriate right in the middle of the shout to say a bad word. No, death is, is truly, it's for the ignorant, for the unconscious. Why don't people question it? Why? They, they just, I guess because they're ignorant, they're unconscious. They just go along with it and then they do die because they believe in it. But that's in your rear view mirror right now. It's all behind you. And all that trying, you look back there, look at all the signs. As you look in the rearview mirror, all the road signs. Jeez. I mean, that's all you see in the rearview mirror is a bunch of signs and directions and directives and everything else. And I look in front of you, there are no signs. There are no sign, turn this way, stop here, yield to idiots. There's none of that. It's. There are no signs. There's no power lines either. Get it? There's no power lines. Look in the rearview mirror. Power lines everywhere, polluting, visually polluting the environment. There are no power lines. You look in the rearview mirror and there's power lines and signs and ah, oh, signs. Uh, those represented all the things you try to control yourself with. Stop. Don't do this. Turn here. Don't turn there. Yield to limitation. Yield to family. Yield to you being a negotiator with yourself. All those signs. Aren't you glad that they're in the rearview mirror now? Back there in the old life, you had to use a GPS just to figure out how to get someplace. What the heck was that about? So confusing that some little box is telling you where to go. Maybe that was your partner, spouse, but it, 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 but it's so confusing here when you look out in front of you, you don't need a GPS or a map or anything else. You just know where you want to go. You don't even have to have a particular destination. That destinations are in the, in behind you now. Now, while all this is going on, you're looking in the rearview mirror, your life as it was. Then you got the wide open road, no signs, no no traffic, no pollution. It's just wide open in front of you. It does cause pause, a, I guess a brief moment of reflection, when you suddenly realize, oh my gosh, I really am changing. Oh my gosh, and I'm not going back there. Oh my, this is for real. There is no going back. There is no going back. No going back to the signs and to the power lines and to the zoo and to the congestion and to the confusion. And there's no going back. No going back to death, and there's no going back to the old rhythms anymore. There's no patterning anymore. It causes one to just give pause for a moment and, oh, take a deep breath, and then the reality strikes. There is no going back. As you would say, 
OMG. There is no going back. And suddenly the car kind of slows down. <laughs> Suddenly, you're looking in the rearview mirror and then looking out in front of you, looking back to the rearview mirror, back to your life, looking in front of you. And then you're looking all around, no going back at all, not even to death. We're not going back to death. We're not going back to old patterns. Oh my gosh. And for a brief instant, there is a bit of anxiety saying, but then what next? And the moment that anxiety seems to come up, it just passes through. It has no patterns to land on. It has no old rhythms to tie into. The anxiety comes and it goes. Never going back. You'll always have the memories. You always have the rear view mirror, but you're not going to be looking at it too much. I, I, I say that you won't be looking at the rear view mirror too much. You'll always have the memories. They're not obliterated, they're not gone. Well, you're just never going back. In, in that realization, everything that's caused energy to pattern in certain ways, everything that's caused the cycles to stay within their old patterns and cycles, suddenly goes away. You're free. Energy is free. Everything goes new. What's up ahead, it doesn't matter. And it'd be better than anything the singular human could have planned. It'd be <laughs> beyond, well beyond what the mind could have thought or even created. What a moment here in this kind of pause situation. Car slowed down, realization that you never go back, but also the beauty of where you've come from. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, suddenly, the sound of sirens. <laughs> Oh, crap, I thought I was beyond all this. And then you realized it was just Adama St. Germain saying, Stop worrying. All is well in all of creation. And so it is. Enjoy the Master's Club. My dear Shambra, I love you dearly. Thank you. Thank you.